Okay, let's go and finish the rest of this question. It says, for 1.3, it says, Naomi buys a two liter bottle of concentrated juice. She adds water to make 14 liters of diluted juice at a total cost of 44,95. She wants to serve the diluted juice in glasses. Each glass will contain 0, 0,175 liters of diluted juice. Okie dokes. So let's see what's happening now. 1.3.1 says calculate the cost per liter of the diluted juice. Okay, so let's get this right. It says Naomi buys a 2 liter bottle of concentrated juice. She adds water to make 14 liters of diluted juice. So 2 liters plus water gave me 14 liters. And the total cost was 44,95. Then it says she wants to put this into glasses. So it says calculate the cost per litre of diluted juice. So let's write this here. We're going to say 1.3.1. So the cost of this juice altogether was 44.95. Okay, and that made 14 litres. Okay, this is all information that I've got from this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, what is... 44.95 divided by 14. And that gives us the cost per litre. So the cost per litre is 3.21. Remember to round off to two decimal places with currency. That is our answer there. Okay? Not difficult, but an important one to remember. Then it says, determine in simplified form the ratio of volume of concentrated juice to volume of water. Okay, and it said simplified form. So we know our concentrated juice, okay, 1.3.2. We know that our concentrated juice was 2 litres. And we know that our diluted juice was 14 litres. But did it ask us to do diluted juice? No, it said the volume of water. So diluted juice is 14. Two of those litres is concentrate. So we know water is 12 litres. And as a reduced or a simplified ratio, that's 1 to 6. Okay, so be quite careful there because a lot of students here want to say 2 to 14, but they're indicating there that they haven't read properly. Let's go to 1.3.3. It says determine the exact number of glasses of diluted juice that can be served. Okay, I'm going to flip this page over. So what we know here is we know that diluted juice, 1.3.3, we had 14 liters of diluted juice and each cup right? Each cup is 0 0.175 liters, okay? So how do we know how many cups? We say 14 divided by 0 0.175, okay? And remember, you can do this in this instance because they are in the same unit. If they weren't in the same unit, let's say that was in milliliters, you would have to convert it. So be careful there, careful there. Okay, let's do this. So it says 80 cups, okay? So don't just say 80 because that's wrong. Okay, you have to say 80 cups because that indicates that you understand what you're talking about. Okay, now, last question of question one is 1 1.4. It says, table two below shows the mean monthly rainfall um, in millimeters, that's quite important, and the mean number of rainy days per month for two South African cities. Okay, the two South African cities we see are Durban and Kimberley. At this stage, I would probably get like a little highlighter because it's always helpful to get a little highlighter and make sure that we know what is going on. Okay, then it says here, use table two above to answer the questions that follow. Okay, let's just make sure that we understand the table though. There's Durban, Kimberley, mean monthly rainfall, mean number of rainy days. So remember, you have the amount of rain and over how many days that rain fell, right? So different things, January to De uh, December, looking good. Let's look at our questions now. Let me just move that up better. Okay, arrange the mean monthly rainfall for Durban in ascending order. Okay, when it asks us things like that, it's probably going to ask about a median or something like that. But let's look here. Okay. So for Durban, and we are wanting the mean monthly rainfall. So we're not looking at the rainy days. We're looking at the mean monthly rainfall. And it says in ascending. Ascending means getting bigger. So you go from smallest to biggest. So what was my smallest here? It was 35, then 39, then 39. Okay. 1.4.1. So I have 35. Then 39, then 39. Okay, let's just tick them off as we go. Then we had 60, then 63. 60, 63. Then we have 
84.93. Oh, sorry, my chairs. I've seen better days. Okay. Then we have 107, 117, 107, 117. Then we have 120, 126, 120, 126, and then we have 142. Okay, let's check we put everything in. We know there's 12 months in a year. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yay, good. We are sorted. Right, let's now go on to the next question, see what they require of us. In which month does Kimberly receive the lowest mean monthly rainfall? So now we're not looking at Durban. This is important because often students are like, oh, I was looking at Durban. I'm going to look at Durban again. No, it says Kimberly, right? So the lowest, right, was, I think, July. Okay, yeah, it is. So it is July. You see, these questions are not difficult, but it's all about reading. Write down the modal. Modal means most. Modal number of rainy days for the first six months of the year for Durban. Okay, so first six months goes to June. Okay, so it only wants the mode of these. Okay, so it's not mode for all of them, just the mode for the first six months. And this is where students get... Me um, like they, they, they mess up because they don't read questions. So the mode of the first six months is nine. Now, if they said the mode across all the 12 months, you could say nine, three, and 10. But they didn't ask for that. They asked for the mode of the first six months. So you say it is nine. Nine days. Okay, so it's all about reading your work here. Right. We're almost done with this question. In which month does Kimberley have a higher mean monthly rainfall than Durban? Mean monthly rainfall. Okay, so let's look here. Right. Lower, 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 higher. Lower, 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 lower. Lower, 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 lower. So the only month that it has a higher mean monthly rainfall is in April. Okay. So do you see all of this is just reading. Okay, all of it's actually just reading. So all you need to do is make sure that you're on top of what's, what's actually being asked and the information that's there. Last question of our, of our first question. During which months in the, uh, is the mean monthly rainfall in Durban the same? Okay, so let's see. I'm going to use my highlighter here. Okay, I have 126, there's no other 126s. I think there's a 39 and a 39. Are there any other repeats? No, it's only 39 and 39. So it would be May and July. Okay, May and July. Oh, I lifted up my, my whole <laughs> answer sheet. May, right, and July. Perfect. So that's the first question done. 30 marks in the back, right? Really easy questions. Let's now move on to question two. We expect it to get a bit more difficult. 